Okay, now to start taking apart the front of the camera. With three screws on the shutter, they'll need to come out. The chrome brass, easily damaged, and it's easy to slip and make a mess of that aluminium front ring. So normally I hold the pressure down firmly with one hand, use the other hand to turn the screwdriver to break the screw free. One screw, this bottom one, that's a long screw. The others are both short. Lift off the front rings together. That's the ring that opens the diaphragm on your lenses. There are two gears here. That little idle pinion and this longer shaft. That couples the, the front rings of your shutter settings through to the meter up here. It's worth taking that out now because otherwise it tends to lift the meter drum out when you undo it. Right, two screws one either side in these top corners you should be taking great note of the size of these screws and putting them carefully together with the parts that they're used for so that you don't mix them up I don't have to because I've done it a million times four screws here again I'm using the same technique using two hands on the screwdriver to break those screws free they shouldn't be locked down tight but they could be well stuck with glue If I peel that chrome trim up, I should be able to lift the shutter away from the body without disturbing this meter cable, meter drum. Now that's the ideal, if you're not going to be disturbing that, leave it in place. Underneath the shutter, we've got these little dished washers. Now yeah, they'll either be eight of these in total two in each position face to face so that they give you the maximum amount of adjustment space or there'll be twelve three in each position this one's only got eight that tells me it's an earlier camera okay That piece there, that little pinion with its cam, that cocks the shutter when you turn the uh, film advance. The main cam section here, which will lift out too, with a bit of a turn, that drives that piece we've just shown you, but its other job is to operate the levers that swing the mirror or the capping plate down into place. Put that to one side, that'll get cleaned. Okay, so there's the, the body with the shutter all removed. The shutter assembly always that always gets serviced separately, so that's like a whole sub-assembly of its own. Half, half the complication of the camera is in this piece. We'll put that to one side. To continue disassembling the camera, we'll get on to the next stage.